I think um, the circumstances in Afghanistan, yeah, they were kind of compli complicated anyway. It was, uh, I think the, the biggest challenge in Afghanistan was the search how to make this film possible. Um, we knew that from the very beginning filming in Afghanistan was going to be kind of complicated because it remains a country in war and, and uh, people are surviving there and uh, you know so they are not at all busy with cinema um, but yeah I think the biggest challenge during the filming was actually the logistical uh, side of all this because we were filming in, in very remote mountains away from Kabul and, and other parts in Afghanistan where there is civilization so we needed actually to bring in everything that we needed like generators, fuel, food for months because we were going with an entire crew of many people um, so I think organizing all this and making people understand what we wanted to do was uh, was a kind of a challenge. I think maybe the biggest one. Yeah. I think, um, you know, I wanted to tell a story about children and how children are surviving in the war in Afghanistan. And in a second layer, I wanted to tell how they dream and what their dreams are and how they see Afghanistan after redrawal of the troops, uh, the, the NATO and the American troops. And um, this fantasy, this imagination, how their life is going to be was very important to me. So that's also the reason why the film is like fluctuating between documentary and, and fiction because in the first layer I wanted to show the war, how they survived a very hard to reality. But this is a film that I think that we have seen many times about Afghanistan. So uh, whenever I was going inside their dreams and their fantasies, this was obviously going to be a kind of a fiction structure because you cannot really you know, consider a dream or visualizing a dream as being documentary. So, uh, but this was from the very beginning very clear that I wanted to to go that that way, um, and that was also my main motivation to see Afghanistan through the eyes of Afghan children. I. Again, I think it was not my main aim to make a film about the reality of Afghanistan. Uh, I wanted to make cinema, uh, if you want. And for me, cinema is also telling something with a very, in my personal point of view, in a very visual language. Uh, so I wanted to show also something beautiful from Afghanistan. I didn't want to show only war and terror and Taliban and weapons and opium and all those things that we know, but a, a side, maybe a hidden side of this country. Um, and I wanted to bring it also in a very aesthetical, very visual style. Um, so for example, the landscapes for me were very important and I wanted to characterize them or, or consider them as like a character in the film. Also, I wanted to focus on hope and on, on the positive side of a lot, of a lot of those Afghan kids and how they're trying every day to survive. So for me, this was going together with a lot of um, techniques that we use to, first of all, to fortify their dreams. For example, in, we shot a lot of things in high speed. We worked with time lapses. We, we did a lot of crane movements. We shot everything on Super 16 and 35 millimeter because I think the, the working with film was also part of the, the, the visual and aesthetical organic look that I want to, to look for uh, in this film. Um, so yeah, if you see a lot of people are, they're saying, yeah, it's like a very visual odyssey. And I think um, this can maybe, yeah, this is, this is partly true. Um, again, um, it, it was not my aim to, to make a reportage with a hidden camera and to, to tell a true story in Afghanistan. I wanted to go beyond that. Um, so in a way it's, it's a very poetic film maybe, uh, but embedded in the hard reality of Afghanistan.